Hey everybody, it's Reborn8 from Extreme PC Game Systems. Just doing another video review. This time we will be looking at the Razer Arc Prosa keyboard. This is a slim keycap structured keyboard with hyper response technology and it has selective anti-ghosting capabilities around your WASD gaming cluster keys and a fully programmable keyboard with macro capabilities. Here we have the classic um, pamphlets of Razer products. We have two stickers, the certificate of authenticity over to the left there and up to the top of the screen there in the upper left is your instruction manual for the keyboard itself. Show you the keyboard up close here. As you can see, one thing about this keyboard, it is very slim. If you notice it very slim profile on it right here I say this is for um, audio functions possibly some macro functions as well and this is detachable this bottom plate you just have to um, unscrew these here very light You have your rubber pads, keep it secure, and you have your one USB cable for the back of the um, your PC, your computer. But all in all, very simple design, and definitely um what I was looking for you know more functionality with the macro capabilities and being able to um, still have that slim design so I can move my hands quickly across the um, WASD keys right here for gaming FPS shooters I also want to make a note you do have the ability to elevate it right here you have here is the um, quick start guide it does come with the driver but you most likely just want to get the most recent drivers on the Razer site to make sure they are the most up-to-date drivers for the keyboard well I'm gonna hook this keyboard up and I'll give you some shots of it hooked up on the computer I just wanted to show you a comparison of the width I guess you could say for each keyboard one back here the further one is the fatality keyboard that I was using before and this is the newer Arcosa by Razer so it is a little bit wider but um not much
what we have here is the Razer Arctosa driver control. This is the software that allows you to switch profiles and to record macros. Um, if you notice, if I go over any of these keys here, they are capable of being programmed as a macro. So say I want to program the 7 numpad key here. I would click that the macro key functions drop down window um, comes down and I can start to record my macro here and see it I can put in delays um, I can change the macro behavior to one time repeat while pressed repeat until next key is pressed and have it do certain commands basic commands maybe on the macro or additional commands other than the basic ones have a launch a program or select a profile in regards to setting up um, the profiles, the profiles is right here. You can have a total of 12 profiles. You turn on a profile by going up here. This is the Razer logo. Pushing this down with any one of the F1 through F12 keys changes your profile. So right now my profile 1 is my Windows Normal my profile 2 is my Call of Duty 4 profile I haven't populated any other ones yet but it does give me plenty of other profile spaces too if I wish to later on um, another thing to take note of on the Razer Arctosa is its gaming mode now the gaming mode prevents accidental activation of the Windows start function by disabling these Windows buttons um, by doing this, if you're in a game, if you accidentally hit these, it's not going to kick you out of a game. I've had it happen to me before. I'm in a game, maybe FPS game, MMO, or whatever. Accidentally tap that button, you get kicked out. By the time you get back into the game, you're usually dead. If you can even get back into the game at all without it crashing on you, as some games do, because they're not really meant for you to um, jump out of the game that way. Um, to activate it, you would just press the Razer logo button down and push either the right or the left Windows button and that deactivates these keys so if you press them nothing will happen. Um, so the gaming mode, most good gaming keyboards have it as does the Razer Arctosa. Um, very good function to have um, for any gaming keyboard. At PAX this year up in Seattle, Washington, most of the platforms had Razer um, keyboards and I liked the slim design. So because of that, I had myself to go out and get a Razer keyboard. And the one that I chose is the Razer Arctosa. Um, it has a good price. It has um, macro functions, slim design, um, low profile, pretty much just the essentials that you need. Keep it simple, but um, have functionality. And that's one of the reasons why it shows the Razer Arctosa. Well, that pretty much does it for the video review of the Razer Arctosa. Um, visit the website www.extremepcgamesystems.com and about a week and I will have a written review of this keyboard after I have had a time to use it in game and use it with my system to give some feedback on the things I like about the keyboard the things I don't like everybody take care and game on